First things first, as you can see right here on my screen, we're looking at a demo platform that I've set up. It's similar to, to the workspaces that, uh, that you folks have purchased. And this one is called Unicorn Inc. As you can see the subdomain Unicorn Inc. Unicorn.io up top. And we're currently on the missions tab. And we're looking at examples of missions right here on my screen. And the reason we're starting here is because the concept of a mission is a very important one in terms of understanding how do we think about ideas and how do we think about the, the journey of the idea once it's, it's collected. And you could also think of these missions as goal oriented idea collections because they're used to organize your ideas and to collect ideas around certain topics. As you can see, they each have a question within them that represents a challenge. And this question is then addressed to an audience. And in this case, we have put three missions within what we call a team folder. This one is called Unicorn Inc. And that's because these three missions topically are relevant to the whole organization of Unicorn Inc. But you could also imagine that you might want to create a team folder for say open innovation. And then you'd put a mission in there for your external partners or maybe for customers. Or another example, you could create a team folder for a department. In this case, we've created one for team sales and we'll let team sales create all their missions and put them in this particular team folder. Now it is important to note that each of these missions, they have a separate audience. So just because a mission is in the team sales folder, it doesn't mean that only team sales can see them. It's just a way for us to add some structure and to organize our workspace around these different folders. Now, what I'm going to do next is just click one of the missions so we can see what it looks like from the inside. And I'll pick this guy right here. And as you can see, up top, we have the mission question. And it's nicely decked out with a cover image. And as an admin, I might have added some, some mission description and image or video, maybe some documents, anything that I can add to equip the user submitting ideas to submit even better ideas. And as a user, I can browse the ideas that have already been submitted to the mission and I can interact with them by say liking them, for instance, or I can add an idea of my own. And once I do that, I'll click, do you have an idea? And I'm presented with this pop over this submission form. Now this one is short and sweet and it asks for a title, and then a description of my idea and lastly an attachment. But you could imagine that this submission form could look entirely different as an admin. I can customize, based on templates and add say another description field or maybe a drop down or check marks or sliders, anything that ensures that I collect ideas in the right format. And I can do this for each of every one of my missions. I'll submit this first idea. And as you can see, it appears here on top of all the other ideas. Now, so we talked about structure and team folders and missions and and your know, structure is great, but to make it really valuable, we need process. And the way that IdeaNode brings process into this equation is with something called phases. And all new ideas, they start out in what we call the grow phase. And that's indicated by this green call to action right here that says, how might this idea be improved? That's an invitation to collaborate to add feedback, to mature the ideas that you've collected. So users can click this call to action and they can add their feedback, just like that. And that's how you get the ball rolling. And you can imagine you've collected a hundred ideas and out of those ideas, some of them are getting a lot of attention. People are growing the idea, they're liking the idea. You want to move some of them forward into your process. So what you can do and what I have done for this particular mission 
is you can create a set of rating criteria that you can use to evaluate the ideas that you collect. So I've set up some rating criteria for this particular mission, but you can set up your custom rating criteria. You can add as many as you'd like and use those to evaluate your ideas. And what that looks like is we'll pick an idea and we're gonna say change phase and we're gonna put it in the rate phase. And as you can see, the before green call to action, it now turns yellow and it has the first of our rating criteria within it. It asks, how confident are you in this idea? And users are then invited to click and then rate the idea on a full scale. And then the next criteria pops up. How large of an impact will this idea have? How expensive is this idea? And lastly, how long will it take to implement this idea? And what you get then is an accumulated average based on all the ratings received that tells you something about how well the idea is doing, if we should move it even further in our process, or maybe back into growth, you know, for more collaboration to see if we can make it mature even further. Now, I want to show you a couple more faces, but to do that, I'm going to change the layout. So right now, as you can see in the top left-hand corner, we're on something called Explore. And that just means we're exploring the mission. We can see all the ideas on top of each other. But now we're going to change it to the Manage view. And we're still within the mission, but right now we can see all the different phases and the ideas within them in this cool column Kanban style view. And other than, of course, providing an overview, this also allows us to do some dragging and dropping of ideas between phases. And you can see right here, we have the grow phase where we started out, we added the first idea, then we put it in rate. You can see the idea we added is right here. And if you imagine that of all the ideas in rate, some of them have scored really high. You might want to take the best ones and move those into the act phase. And as I'm sure some of you have already figured out, the act phase is all about taking action. So ideas in this particular phase can be assigned to either teams or individual who basically decides who should act on this idea. And you will assign someone to carry it out. And this person will get notified that they now own the idea. And of course, once the idea has been implemented, they can move it to the done phase, which is your own personal trophy cabinet, basically. Now, this funnel for this particular mission, well, it looks like this because that's how I've set it up. But you, you can set up your own funnel for each of all your missions. And you can do that by either changing the names of the faces, you can change the description, you can even move them around, reorder them, or you can add entirely new faces by clicking add phase, and then you get an overview of the different types. So we want to say a review phase. So we'll add that. As you can see, it pops up here on the right hand side. We'll move it over in the beginning of the funnel. And what that means is now that all new ideas will start in the review phase and require admin approval before they appear and grow. But we can then grow them and then the funnel continues. And again, each mission can have its own funnel and it's entirely up to you what it should look like. Now, I wanna show you one more thing within the mission and that is how you share the mission and set up the audience for the missions that you create. As you can see, we have a share button in the top right-hand corner. And if I go ahead and click this, I'm presented with a share dialog that shows me who has access to this particular mission. And right now, I'm here. I have admin rights because I created it. I also added previously team sales. And you can see they have access to the grow phase and the rate phase as indicated by these little icons. But we might want to say, bring an account on board. We'll edit Annika's rights. And we want her to grow and rate, but also act on ideas. And she'll get the corresponding icons to show us that that's the access that she has now. Something else you can do is add a shareable link and then you can set access for that link so that anyone who arrives via the link will get the corresponding access that you've set. So we'll say anyone who arrives via the link should be able to add ideas. We want them to grow ideas as well, but that's it. 
and then we can go ahead and share the link. And this you can do for each of your missions. And these missions, of course, are also the ones that you can embed on your own website. And we have a, a bunch of documentation on that. So you can white label and make it look neat and nifty and cool. So I hope, I hope that makes perfect sense to everyone. If not, please let Jacob know. We'll address those questions uh, in a moment. I want to show you um, one more thing. And that is the insights tab because that is where you get all your workspace data visualized. We like to refer to it as our own digital newspaper. And I've actually loaded it on a different workspace just to show you what it looks like. And insights, as you can see, tells you something about where you're collecting ideas from and how users are interacting with your workspace. Gives you some stats on members with comments, members with ideas, you know, how long are they spending on the workspace once they're here? You also have a Hall of Fame, which is more of a classical leaderboard style layout where you get leaderboards with comments, ideas, all that good stuff for individual users, but also for teams. This makes a wonderful reference when you want to tell some success stories. You want to get out there and create a strong narrative and then compliment people on their, their interaction and engagement. This is a, a great tool for that. And a personal favorite of mine, the Trends tab. Now, this idea cluster right here is, um, is something that we built in, in collaboration with uh, one of our enterprise customers because they were out and they were engaging more than 100,000 people at once. And of course, that resulted in a lot of ideas. And it can be tough sorting through so many ideas. We wanted to provide a tool that could help say something about the trends that appeared in all the ideas collected. And right now, you're seeing clusters of ideas within this platform, and they're automatically sorted by the content. And you can change the parameters for how the platform sorts the ideas and clusters them together. And it gives you some suggestions for how you might want to link ideas together. So if we select, say, two ideas that the platform has clustered together, we can read them. And we say, all right, that makes sense. We we'll want to create a manual link. So we'll solidify the suggested link just like this. Or we can do the exact opposite. We can say, nope, we don't want them to be together. And we'll dissolve the link and they'll float their separate ways. It's a way for you to see what's going on uh, on your platform to create some, some links based on similarities or just adjacent topics. And of course, those links will be available within the platform when, when people play around with the ideas. And one final thing, and then we'll get to your questions, because one of the, the more popular features that you guys have seemed to, to really enjoy is the, the widget. And the widget is a way for you to embed a mission anywhere. So this is an example page. This could be your personal landing page, for instance. And as you can see in the bottom, right hand corner you have this little widget icon and this represents a mission so it's linked directly to a mission within the workspace see we have the mission question here and the mission description and people can then submit ideas directly be taken through whatever template you've set up for the question even a little slider if you want you can customize all of this entirely and then at the end they'll be asked to, to sign up and their idea will be submitted and it'll be put directly into the mission that you have linked to the widget. And you can start managing ideas and work with them, but now you have a, a different channel where you can meet your customers or meet your external partners and collect ideas from there. So I think that uh, that covers the, the very basics, and I hope, uh, I hope it was useful.